was thinking of parodying Yellow Submarine for the opening bit for this review, but, um... Frankly, I'm too afraid of the YouTube copyright boss to do that, and... I don't think it would have been that funny anyway. Hello, and welcome back to another Plamo review. Today we're taking a look at the 30-minute missions Attack Submarine in Light Grey. Now, normally I'd start off with the articulation, but, well, this thing is more of a modular kit, so let's break it down into its individual parts and go over those instead. Okay, that was harder to get all in frame than I expected, but this is everything that the Attack Submarine comes with. And most of these parts have a ridiculous amount of attachment points. So I'm not going to be going over every single 3mm peg on this, but I will point out a few things that are, I think are interesting. First of which being the robotic arms, which are actually articulated. They use 3mm pegs for an elbow joint. Also, I'm pretty sure the hands are 3mm, so you can plug stuff into them, which is nice. Next up is this large round piece, which allows you to connect two of the large black cylinders together. It also has a joint clip inside of it for some reason. <laughs> Then's the fact that this actually does come with a unique head mold. It's just molded in the main color of the submarine, but it is quite a nice mold actually. I like it a lot. And to go with that head, you actually get a head ball joint on a 3mm peg, so you can pretty much put a head wherever you want. And finally, I do want to point out that the black parts in this come from the underwater type Porta Nova. Now, it doesn't come with the entirety of the underwater Porta Nova parts. Obviously, it doesn't come with a Porta Nova, but it is nice to be able to get these parts in a cheaper kit. And with a little ingenuity, you can get them to work fine even without the parts that it's missing. Also, it does show three different forms in the instructions, though, of course, you can just put these parts together however you feel like. Still, it's nice that they included multiple forms in the instructions, as it gives you an idea of how parts can go together. And for a size comparison, you actually get quite a bit of plastic in this. If I take the main torso, hold it up here, you can see it's quite long. And there's a lot of it here. So, to wrap this review up, I quite like the Attack Submarine. It's not amazing on its own, but mix it with other 30-minute missions kits and you can make something pretty great. Really, my only complaint is that it doesn't come with all the parts that came with the underwater Porta Nova. But, as you can see, you can still work out something without them. This is one 30-minute missions accessory set that is definitely worth the price. Anyway, that's all for this review. Be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, helps a lot. Subscribe and hit the bell for future reviews. Go follow me on Twitter for updates. And consider supporting me on Patreon so I can keep making reviews just like this one. And as always, until next time, happy building.